FishTankTV.com I have something very important to say and you all need to stop whatever you're doing and listen because this is possibly the most important thing you've ever heard in your life ever I'm just kidding I want to talk about spray bars this thing I made it seems to be working good but it's clunky so I went to the hardware store um, and kinda bought some different first of all I wanted to I knew that this piece here was what I had in there so I bought another one just to have that way I can change the holes so that's got too many holes I want less holes possibly I don't know yet I wanted to try some different things so I got another piece of that then I saw this sexy black piece I'm gonna have to cut it but it would blend in much better I can cut it here and it'll be the same size as that but it won't have this little uh, hex in the middle it'll be black it'll blend in and then I started digging around a little more so I bought those but you know I just wanted to buy a bunch of shit I found this uh, this is just uh, it's like drip line it's a two foot section of drip line for like irrigating you know like a rose planter or something and it's it's flexible you can see and I was like damn and it's a way smaller diameter so here's what that means I wanted to go over a little bit on what's called QAV Q is flow A is area V is velocity okay that's a standard equation it's algebra that's how you calculate flow you know I got a lot of uh, sewer background is where I come from so you know I know about flow and I just like to say the word flow come on hey stop what you're doing I already told you stop what you're doing okay now say it with me flow this feels good flow so QAV the velocity coming out of this power head you can control it I'm gonna have it cranked up but it's cranked up right now so it's at full velocity the area in this pipe which is also this pipe compared to this other one I got yeah that's right I'm in my boxer shorts I'm not even working today see it's much smaller this one so with less area and the same amount of flow that's gonna make no less area same amount of velocity is going to end up making more flow because the same amount of water is being pushed through a smaller space and that's where putting the holes in it come into play so I'm, I'm kind of experimenting I'm learning all this stuff I I found I'm not even going to need to have this stupid you know coupling thing on there I can just go boom like that straight to the pipe it's slimmer it's black it's gonna go right there I'm gonna cut it it's gonna go across the tank this way boom now you might be saying but Keith how are you gonna keep the water from coming out the other end well you know what I'm one step ahead of you guys alright I got another one of these pieces which is the same piece that's right there but it's black okay I filled it in you can't really see I guess you can see on this side it's got I filled in this little skinny nipple with silicone when it dries I'm gonna I'm after I cut this after it dries after I cut it I'm gonna plug it in you know wherever and then just cut the end off and it'll be flush so the end will just look like this and then you'll look down and you'll just see like a little a little deal of silicone sticking out so that's what I'm gonna do with a spray bar but nobody has uh, commented on my last video as far as uh, what rock should I use and you know what you guys are just you lost you lost your chance I'm sorry I'm going with all round rock I'm gonna go to my buddy's house grab a big bucket of it um, 
but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to completely change the whole pumping from this side of the tank, the power head and all that filter. I'm going to put it in this corner, send the flow across this way. I'm going to leave this tank, this end of the tank more open, and I'm going to have it kind of aquascape so it goes from here, kind of down, to a low flat area. And then this side will be all open for viewing without any of these rocks right here. And I think it'll look better. It'll look better in the room because I don't ever really come around this side to look at the tank because it's just a pain in the ass. It's it's wedged in the corner and everything. But that other side, it, you'd have a good view. So that's what I'm going to do. You can expect a video on that tomorrow. Either me cursing because it didn't work or it'll look bomb. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm also going to head down to the lagoon and go fishing right now since it's my day off. And I want to make some videos of some fish, if I catch any. I usually do, and I think you guys will like it. So, anyway, let me know what you think. I'm going to rig up that spray bar. Hopefully it works better. Um, I do want to incorporate CO2 into the tank. So, from what I've heard, less surface agitation is better. And it seems like the more holes and the bigger pipe, there's very little surface, ag surface agitation. This is a lot more. So, I think maybe more holes, but not quite that many, because it's going to have to carry all the way across the tank. So, we'll see. Um, anyway, fishtanktv.com, new subscribers, YouTube subscribers, all that good stuff. Friends, family men, countrymen, Romans, thanks for watching. I'll check you out next time. Peace.